Hello everyone and welcome to this consumer YouTube channel. You know, purchasing a house is always a very important decision in everybody's life. So it is vitally important to choose the right home construction company when you're purchasing a house. We are giving you the story of Karina and her experience with the company called DR Horton. Without further ado, please enjoy the video and stay tuned for more. So my husband and I, we purchased our home at the end of June of 2018 and the way they already, you know, went about the purchase was kind of shady. Uh, they gave us 48 hours to make a decision, otherwise the price would go up. Then uh, there were building delays because when we purchased our home, it was, you know, like somewhat finished, but not really, you know, and there were delays. And uh, three days before closing, the entire house had the wrong carpet in it. And um, even though we paid a high dollar price for this home, it had the type of carpet that, you know, looked used or, or like very low end, not definitely not what we paid for. Also, the entire house had the wrong color, but we just dealt with it, you know, <laughs> uh, on the outside. Then um, after we uh, we had our after we uh, purchased our home, we had countless warranty calls because what happens is they give you a one-year warranty on your home. So you have your initial walkthrough where you identify all your issues that they're supposed to take care of. And then at the end of the one-year warranty, you have another um, final walkthrough. So um, we couldn't install our hurricane shutters for approximately eight months right, uh, which was a big, is a big deal here in the state that we live in because it's very hurricane prone. And until, you know, we threatened them that, hey, we let our insurance know that you're, you know, not, not making it possible for us to install our hurricane shutters. That's when they finally came out. Then our driveway was le legitimately in waves because they didn't put a sign for uh, trucks not to back up into our driveway while, while it was setting. You know, and um, I can go on and on. Patches of grass missing, doors not being painted, like our, our cabinet door, um, painting that was still required, patch ups all over the house. And this is after we closed, right? Um, the cabinets in our kitchen were stained the wrong type, and, and so on and so on. But, you know, my husband kept taking off. For all these warranty calls, they would sometimes show up, sometimes not. So they definitely jeopardized his job because I had a national job, national job where I would travel nationally and I wasn't able to, um, you know, be here for all that. And then on June 19th of 2019, a domain drainage pipe bursted and approximately 30 gallons plus of sewage water just poured all over our, you know, dining room area, living room area, hallway, guest room where my father was staying. And it, it was just terrible. Um, they had somebody come out, you know, to do mitigation, which means, you know, cut holes in the ceiling and have fans run. But when they cut holes in the ceiling, they saw that there is mold. And we're talking about a house that's not even a year old, right? Because they didn't install the toilets correctly and there was mold buildup all around. So, you know, not only do we have the main drainage issue now with all that sewage water all over our house, but now we had mold up there. Um, they did not offer to move us into a hotel. You know, uh, we had to do an insurance claim to even be able to get out of this house, which clearly was making us sick because all four of us ended up in the emergency room. And they didn't even have enough heart to offer initially to pay for our hospital bills. The, as a matter of fact, the day we took our children out of Children's Hospital, uh, their legal counsel wrote us an email saying that uh, you can forget about us covering any of, them, any of your medical bills the day off. So that's how much heart they have. And, um, you know, then she uh, requested the medical bills 
just a side note, on several occasions, we were kind of apprehensive about giving it to her, you know, because we suspected it's just to protect the company. But initially, eventually she got through to us to where, you know, she made a promise saying that if it has certain terminology in it, such as mold, they would cover the bills. So at that point, I was convinced and gave her our medical bills, you know. And to be honest with you, she did not advise us that she will share our medical information and, you know, personal health information at her discretion organization-wide as she chooses to. And then she got upset in one of the emails and just shared it with several individuals without our consent, which I don't even know if that's legal, right? (laughs) And um, when we advised her that she potentially broke HIPAA law, you know, she said that she argued that she's not a covered entity, but if it goes on the investigation, highly unlikely that she's not a covered entity the moment we release our medical information to her. So we definitely want people to know that if you release your medical information to D.R. Horton, more than likely they're going to share it with anybody and put you at identity theft risk, potentially. Then with our house, it was just an ongoing nightmare. You know, like once the ceiling came down in order to, you know, fix the piping, um, more issues with the window leakings were discovered that more windows were broken upstairs as well. Uh, the person who came out to mitigate uh, on the first day when the main drainage pipe broke uh, also discovered that our shower wasn't caulked appropriately and there was probably growth behind the tiles. So we asked them nicely to, um, you know, take at least the bottom row of the tiles off and uh, replace it, like clean it behind it and replace it. And they would not want to do that. When they took out the toilet, you know, to uh, fix one of the bathrooms, because it's two bathrooms upstairs that are damaged now, they applied such blunt force, their vendor, that it, you know, impacted our main structural beam. And it's just one thing after another after another. And now with the windows, they really don't want to address that either because, you know, it's just becoming this expensive fixer up for them. So they just want to, I don't know, fix it the cheapest way possible. And they want to rush along all the fixing so that we don't have time for our inspections. We wanted our insurance to come out and inspect it. You know, our claim adjuster, they said that they wouldn't fix our house if we had a second opinion. You know, I mean, the the level of ele- illegality that they're going to because we don't have legal counsel is enormous. And so what I would suggest to anybody that, even thinks about buying a home from the Horton, be prepared to be uh, unemployed because there is no way with all these warranty calls and legitimately the Horton fixing my house is my full-time job. And second of all, definitely lawyer up because their corporate lawyers will eat you for breakfast. I mean, undeniable. Absolutely crazy. So you are all on your own against this whole company. You don't have a company. Their corporate senior leadership, their divisions uh, uh, leadership, their legal counsel that will put your identity at risk. And they're just playing legal games because, frankly, you know, my husband and I, we're not legal experts. And unless you have another twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 laying around to, you know, endlessly throw at them in this legal back and forth they will refuse to fix your house appropriately they will say it according to their standards and uh, overall standards but then when you say okay you know if i have my claims adjuster come out or our inspectors come out from the insurance they should just reconfirm that you are rebuilding you know up to standards they will not let that happen because it's against, you know, clearly they're not rebuilding to up to standards, so they don't want to be caught doing so. 
Karina, if you don't mind my asking, where does your family and yourself reside now? We've we've been uh, in a hotel room. You know, it's a little bit larger. Like our children have been sleeping on a pull-out sofa uh, for over two months now. You know, uh, well, closing on two months. And um, yeah, their entire summer was gone. They haven't played with their kids. All they've seen was essentially just a hotel room or being here with me, you know, in order to address all their meetings upon meetings upon meetings on a daily basis. And, you know, not much got done. We're, as a matter of fact, if you want me to, I'll show you downstairs two months later, our whole house is still uninhabitable, you know. Um, as I told them to, your competition would have built us an entire house by now. So, and then there's my father who initially stayed with my brother for a little bit until it started to affect his employment. And then he had to move in with his employer, telling him that it's going to be sh short term. But clearly, this is not short term. We're nowhere near end, the end game here. So it's affecting my husband's job, definitely my job, because I can't, you know, go and take any employment opportunity partially affected my brother's uh, job too because my dad was living there with him and my brother had just started his job and it affected my health my my husband's health my kids' health you know my daughter's my daughter was vomiting on the same pull-out sofa that my son was on definitely affected my health you know I had to take medication so did my husband you know inhalers stuff like that steroids all kinds of stuff uh, and my mother she was the one that was the most affected by this situation because the day it happened she still slept in that room and then returned you know to her home she had to fly to get back home and once at home she was sick for like four or five days so taking into account you know all your losses everything that you described what would you expect maybe i know that it's probably impossible to compensate you in full for everything that you've suffered you and your family suffered so far but if dr horton could have done something for you and your family what would that have been? In your well, I mean, we, we did ask them on several occasions, you know, to just like fix everything to standards, let us inspect, uh, pay our medical bills directly or give us the money so that we can pay them. We offered both occasions. Then at one point they said that for our pain and suffering, they may uh, do a gate back in our backyard because we have alligators in the pond, you know, to protect our children. And then they recanted that because their senior advisor decided to just not offer it to us anymore. And um, the other thing that they offered was like to just install our like um, we have a garage door opener, but, you know, just the installation of it. And I mean, that doesn't even scratch the surface, but they recanted that, too, you know, because everything in our house is becoming so expensive that to them, they just don't want to offer anything at this point. And what they offered was, yeah, the gate in the backyard, you know, the installation of the of the already purchased by us uh, garage door, you know, and um, garage door opener and a thousand dollars that wasn't even going to cover begin to scratch our medical bills, you know, the, the, the amount. And, you know, when I went back and said, hey, we appreciate, you know, the gate in the installation of our garage door opener. But when it comes to the medical bills, you're not even scratching the surface here. You know, please like, don't even pay us. Just go, go ahead and keep your word and pay them directly. You know, then they just said, okay, you're not getting anything. Why did you go to DR Horton for this house in the first place? Did you consider any alternatives? I mean, you picked this company for some reason. Could you tell me a little bit more about that, please? Back in the days, years ago, when uh, we we lived in the Pacific Northwest, you know, we had certain friends and family 
that had purchased with them and didn't have any of these kind of experiences, you know. Uh, their standard of doing business clearly went down. If you just look it up on Google, they're, they're having countless complaints against them. You know, somebody here in the area initially like had the same issues happening to them and they lost their employment, their house, their credit, everything. To be honest with you, I, I wish I wouldn't have gone off memories from way back when and done my research a little bit better here locally, but then being a national company, I thought that their business standards are just the same everywhere, but they're not, especially this division here in, you know, Florida, Georgia, these areas are just subpar. Green, considering everything that you and your family had to go through, what message would you like to give to those people who are listening and who, who will be listening to your video interview? What would you like to say to them? I would say to them, please, please, please do your research well. You know, take my word for it or don't take my word for it, but do not give these people your hard-earned money. You know, same thing with my husband and I. We work really hard to save money for this home which we thought was brand new and it's worse than a fixer-upper don't risk your family's and children's health